Could the Florida Gators be bringing something more lethal to Commonwealth Stadium than Tim Tebow? Maybe. The solid blue fans may be forgiven if they hope Gator players take their time getting over the flu. Or that members of the Tennessee team the Gators beat last week volunteered their own strains. The close quarters of the locker room and the violent collisions that make up football they make it a perfect sport to pass along more than spirals. You're trading uh, secretions, whether it's spit, whether it's sweat, whether it's anything else, that um, they're in close quarters, they get spread, and you're going to get disease spread that way. Head coach Rich Brooks says the Wildcats, reportedly dealing with several cases of the flu themselves, are washing their paws a lot these days. We're doing all the things uh, that everybody else is doing with the sanitizer in each player's locker, washing the hands, trying to isolate anybody that has any symptoms. Dr. Ryan Stanton says fans don't have to worry about flu germs floating up from players, but the players themselves, even those who've taken the flu vaccine, may have reasons other than a hard tackle to be sore a day or two after the game. The, kind of the tradition of, of college athletics and pro athletics is you do whatever it takes to play. And so just with the Florida and Tennessee game last week, they had people in the game that probably didn't feel like playing, but they were there anyway.